Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to go through the last commission for this year and it is a hyena commission. So the customer wanted a sort of beaten up, broad uh, looking hyena. So stay tuned and let's get into it. Alright, so if you watched my previous video on sculpting a hyena face, you'll know how I did it. Uh, if you haven't, you can go back on my channel and check it out and it will show you a step-by-step -step process of sculpting the entire hyena head. So here it is after it's been sculpted and baked and ready to paint. So I'm just going to do the same thing and go around with my black chromacryl acrylic paint and I'm just going to paint inside of the eyes and the nose and the mouth in that black paint just so when I fur things I can um, sort of already have that colour um, underneath the fur and then I can go back over it once the fur has been applied. And sculpting is a little bit different to paint. Um, I don't really like painting over it as much as I like painting on resin, just because I find that some paints can easily peel off or flake off the sculpey. So it's always important to prime the sculpey before painting it and even priming the resin before painting it too, because there's always a chance of it coming off. All right, and moving on to the paws, and I'm using the same paws that I use for my wolf. I know hyenas have very similar paws, so I thought it would work really well as a base, and then I can elaborate on it with the faux fur and painting, so it was the same deal. And the faux fur that I'm going to be using is this coloured faux fur. It's sort of a medium piled, um, medium thickness faux fur, and it's got like an undertone of a brown, which works really well for a hyena. And the top coat is uh, also works really well for the colouring as well. So I have just drawn out my patterns for my hyena, and I have had to create new patterns for the hyena body, uh, which I hope to actually use it in the future because I've had a lot of requests to make a hyena doll permanent. So I'm just going to go in with a small pair of sharp scissors and cut out all of my pattern. And once I've done that, I'll go ahead and sew the body up on a sewing machine. Uh, I prefer to use a sewing machine because I find it a lot neater than gluing and um, a lot less tedious than hand sewing. So I always prefer to sew um, over gluing things as well. I just don't like the seam lines when you glue things together. It's kind of thick and not really what I'm after. So I always prefer to sew things. Alright, so I'm going to turn this inside, well, the right, right way around, that is, um, and here's what we have so far. So it kind of just looks like a big fluffy mess, but you can kind of see the shape of a hyena coming together. So I will have to do a fair bit of trimming for this doll, um, but I always wait till the doll is actually constructed to um, put anything together. So I'm going to go ahead and make the armature. I have those armature tutorials up in my shop, there's five new ones, um, so if you want to work out how to make the armature, head to my shop and you can find uh, a tutorial for that in there. It's at creaturesofnat.com and you'll find all five of them in there. Alright, so once we've put the armature inside and have um, attached the resin pieces, I'm going to go ahead and sew everything up using a ladder stitch, all of the open ends, which are the legs and the back end as well. Um, and I've also put some polyfill inside just to give it some stuffing and some, obviously, to put something inside. So I use polyfill to put stuff inside. And once I've done all that and it's all sewn up, I'm going to go ahead and uh, glue the pieces of faux fur to the resin using a tacky fabric glue. And I get mine from a local shop here in Australia called Spotlight. It works really well. Um, I know I used to use one from Riot, but I, don't, I haven't seen it around in a long time. So head to Spotlight and you can find some. Alright, so I'm just going to give you a quick overview of the fur that I've put on. Um, before it has been um, cleaned up and everything so it looks a bit of a mess at the moment and a bit patchy so I don't really like putting fur on um, Sculpey either because it doesn't really adhere as well as putting it on resin so I'm not a big fan of Scul using Sculpey in general or any polymer clay that is. So once I fixed all of the fur up and you know fixed up any patches and stuff and made sure things aren't coming off, I'm going to go ahead and um, put in some shading. So I'm actually going for the brush this time just because I can um, kind of work it into the faux fur rather than airbrushing it. So I know airbrushing can um, actually be too much sometimes, especially when you're putting a lot on. So I prefer to use a brush when I'm doing smaller bits. Um, so this is a good tip for you as well. 
So now I'm going to move on to putting the dots onto all of the fur. So they're all hand dot done um, using a jacquard fabric paint. And I have a fabric paint video on my channel that you can check out. So um, you, can, you know what I use as well. So this is one side done. Uh, you can see how much of a difference it made just adding the little spots and some shading around everywhere. It's really brought it together and actually looks like a hyena. So this is the other side that I haven't done. Um, and you can see how different and how not much of a hyena it looks like. Uh, so paint can go a long way. You just have to make sure you um, use the paint in the right way on faux fur because it can get kind of clumpy and won't look as natural. Um, so something to keep in mind when using paint on faux fur. So here is the finished hyena. I think it came came together really well. So it was quite popular with people when I showed a little preview. So I may make this a permanent sculpt in the future. So that is it for me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. If you have any video requests, you can leave it in the comments down below. You can also check me out on Instagram and Facebook at Creatures of Nat and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.